She's elegant, she's beautiful, and she is extremely proper. Today, joining us, sharing her own journey in Bollywood is Tara Sutaria. Tara, you know, we had met last time during Student yes. of the Year and we didn't have this one-on-one -on -one conversation which I was waiting for. A lot of things actually, you know, um, go behind being an actor. People say that, uh, you know, it's a struggle to become a star and then it's a struggle to maintain being a star. For you also, it's been both because you don't have filmy connections. When did you realize that you wanted to become an actor and how difficult was that journey till you made it? Uh, my mom and dad have always, so I have a twin sister, yeah. we've always been performing, we've always been acting, singing, dancing since ever, yeah. ever since we can remember and so we've always been in the performing arts since we were like four or five. Yeah. Um, so this is sort of the only world that I've known. Yeah. Acting is a completely new and different ball game for me. Um, it's something I started doing when I was in my teens. I started off with Disney as a DJ and then I absolutely love musical theatre and theatre in general. I actually met Karan when I was graduating college. I was 19 or, or turning 20 or something like that. And we were just having a casual conversation and he knew that I sang and he, and he asked me to sing for him and I did. And he was like, what about acting? And we have a couple of films lined up for the next year. And I didn't realise student was one yeah. of them. That's the transition that happened from being a stage performer yeah. and you know, theatre and all of that, which is again a different world yeah. to then coming to, to Dharma and, and the films. But before that, how many times have you faced rejection and in what ways? I don't know if it's rejection, but I know that when you perform and when you're young, I've, I've noticed this, uh, a, lo a lot of people don't take that very kindly because you're young. So, um, which is not the case because I've also been doing this since I was five. So I'm 23 now, 24 almost. And if you count the years, that's quite a few yeah. years of being a professional. But people don't think of it like that. So in, in that sense, I suppose it's been some occasions when I've been performing, it's been a little annoying. Not terrible, terrible things, but just, you know, sometimes critics and the, the, the musicals that I did and why did she choose to do this and uh, you know, just silly things really. Um, but, but then when I met Karan and when student happened that yeah. that really changed everything that changed the game i think have you ever uh, like faced any obnoxious criticism for the way you are or the for the way you look because there was this this person this Urveen Chawla, she said that she was 56 kilos and people called her overweight yes people do say hurtful things every now and then um it's not really been obnoxious but some people did call me you know anorexic and things like that everyone thinks I'm proper, proper and whatever. Yeah. But that's not the case. I just care yeah. very much for the English language yeah. as much as I care for, for, yeah. for Hindi. They're beautiful. and But people don't know that, so yeah. they just tend to assume. You know, but uh, your co-star, uh, Siddharth, and I have always bonded over this fact that I was just asking him this, that there are uh, times when you struggle to fit in at a party because yeah. you... Has that happened to you? All the time. And this has always happened to me, not just, you know, since I've been a part of the movie since I was a kid. I have a twin sister who's yeah. who's very different to me. She's very comfortable um, being around people. I'm really shy and yeah. I'm really awkward and I've always been that way. I, I never used to go to parties yeah. growing up because I was so, so scared. Do you think that uh, people have thought of you a little negatively? People, you know, have said things about, oh, she speaks so properly and she's sitting properly and whatever, whatever. But I, again, I, it's just how I was raised and I'm very proud of that. So if anyone has a problem with it, I, there's nothing I can really do. You know, and that's absolutely lovely thing to say because I think a lot of people today when they're criticized, they have self-esteem issues. Like, like it, it's a huge sure, thing. Sure, it's actually sure, a kind of sure. bullying with, which people don't really understand sure. the kind of harm they're doing. And it's um, lovely to have somebody like you who has um, come out of it and who wants to be how they are, the way they are. Thank you for this conversation. Thank you.